Welcome back to I in Ocean County. I'm Jamie Lindrohan, and today we're speaking with Amy Benikoff, Lemon Law Attorney, and Michael Sachs, the Director of Communications for Kimmel and Silverman. Thanks for being here, and why don't we talk now about um, how to buy a car without being taken for a ride? Um, well, now's the time to buy a car. Yeah. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. it. The GM and the Chrysler bankruptcy have mm -hmm. presented a lot of great options for people to get great deals on vehicles. And we want to assure everyone that the warranties remain completely in effect. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about that. And we have a national celebrity next to us because Amy Benikoff was in New York last week specifically working with Chrysler and Fiat attorneys. She was the only Lemon Law lawyer wow. in the nation to specifically work with them on the sale agreement. And she specifically revised an amendment to ensure that Chrysler and Fiat, when they create the new Chrysler, which will be shortly, uh -huh. uh, will be held responsible for all present and future Lemon Law and Breach of Warranty Claims on Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep Vehicles. So, wow. rest assured you have protection, and in large part, thanks to Amy Benikoff. And I'm not, you know, yeah. she really has helped tens of thousands of people. Uh, so, now's a great time, mm -hmm. but you want to go in there. Remember, an educated consumer is an effective consumer. So, we have five tips, okay. and maybe we can run by them yep. if you want to lead me off, because yeah. you have the Chiron there. All right, well, know your needs. You know, that's the most important thing. If I'm a working father, I have three kids, they're mm -hmm. all in the soccer league, I'm not going to be looking in on a two-seat sedan. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to identify what I need. I'm going to identify what's important to me. Is a V8 engine really important to me? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, mm -hmm. but sliding doors maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, the remote switch maybe, mm -hmm. enough room for my kids, the options that'll make sure that when they ride, they ride in comfort and safety. Yeah. Those types of things are important, so I know my needs. That's very important. And number two, research. Very important. You want to do research online, make sure that you know what you're buying. Mm -hmm. See if there have been prior complaints with that model year and make. Maybe it's not something you want to get into if you see a number of people are complaining of stalling or no start conditions in that vehicle. Maybe you want to look at different options. Okay, and then of course try it before you buy it. You know, that's, that's the most important <laughs> thing and you will be amazed at how many people don't do it. Yeah. You know, I special ordered this car. Oh, it's gorgeous. It has the color I want and the seats I want and the features I want. And here's the car and I've just signed on the dotted line and I've driven away. Well, didn't you take the time to make sure everything works first? <laughs> the air conditioner, the electrical system, the sunroof, does it drive correctly? Take it out on the road, not just any model. Take the car you are planning to buy out on the road before you sign on the dotted line. This is your one chance to demand satisfaction. Yeah. If something's not working properly, I want to say, uh, Jamie, I don't think this is correct. Right. And you have to fix it yeah. before I agree to buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, forget the IOUs. IOUs mean absolutely nothing. Yeah. You want to get this matter fixed before you take the car off the lot. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And knowing your warranty is really important as well. It's definitely important. You want to know what you're being covered for. If you're buying, for example, a used vehicle, how many more miles are left in this warranty? If you have a powertrain warranty or an extended warranty that's coming with it, find out exactly what it covers and for what term to make sure you're not stuck with, with problems and, and having to pay for them after buying this vehicle. And number five, understanding your rights. Well, that's what we're doing today. Yeah. You know, there's some great websites out there. You know, ours is lemonlaw.com. There's also autopedia.com and lemonlawamerica.com. Mm -hmm. And these are great websites to really take a look at and say, gee, maybe I am driving a lemon. Mm -hmm. You know, what so many people tell us after they read our website is, I had no idea. You know, I know a lemon law exists. I know there's something out there, but I really didn't know if I qualify or not. Mm -hmm. And we try to put it into layman's terms. The beauty of the internet is you don't have to talk to anyone. You can sit in the comfort of your own home or your own office and just take a look and read mm -hmm. and try to understand and comprehend. If you understand your rights and fight for your rights, you will get what you deserve under your rights. Mm -hmm. If you do nothing, you get nothing. And I tell people that all the time. Oh, they'll call and they'll whine and they'll moan and they'll complain. And I say, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. I say, well, here are your options. And if you do nothing, you get nothing. Yeah. It's just that simple. Is now really a good time to check out and buy a new car? I think so. I mean, there are some 08s on the road. I mean, my wife wants a Cadillac, yeah. the SRX. And, and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And I... And now they're bankrupt, mm -hmm. and I had to do some additional research. I spoke to my boss, Bob Silverman, who handles our GM claims, mm -hmm. and he said, 
go out there and bargain, bargain, bargain. All these cars are on these lots. Plus, unfortunately, many of these dealerships are closing. Yeah. So we're seeing liquidation sales. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that you can get anywhere from 6 to 15% off additional discounted prices, plus tremendous financing, 0% financing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have the money, if you have the money and the resources, now's the time. Now, if you don't have the money, don't just do it because it sounds good. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're in a recession. A lot of folks are laid off. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have the same income that they did. If you have the money, and certainly you should check it out. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're not ready, take some time. Hold off. Cars will still be discounted down the road. Mm -hmm. I see. And there's still a lot of 08 leftovers, by the way, tons of them. Because of the recession, nobody was buying cars last year. And they're still they're brand new. They're brand, brand new. Brand new cars. Okay. You want to look at them carefully, ensure that you know they've been on the lot for a while, make sure there's no water leaks, smell. Sounds silly. Smell the carpet. Take a look underneath. Make sure there's no water leaks. Make sure that all the rubber is intact. There's no marks because that's the one thing that we are seeing. A lot of the sunroof drainage issues are causing water leaks, so a car can sit on the lot forever. Yeah. The sunroof gets clogged with leaves or what have you, and the water leaks come pouring in. So you really want to make yourself very weary of that. You want to protect yourself. Wow, so just by, you can actually smell the carpet and, mm -hmm. you know, don't worry yeah, about what other people, people are thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, do not worry about what anybody else is thinking. It's your money. It's yeah. not anybody else's money. <laughs> Snip away. Yeah. All right, well, are, is there anywhere we can go on the Internet like a, that lists the car dealerships that are closing that perhaps we can go and get a deal at? You know, you want to Google. You definitely want to use Google right mm -hmm. now. If I live in uh, Tom's River, for instance, and I type in, Chrysler dealers closing Tom's River. Most of the newspapers and news outlets have covered this, and you oh, will wow. find news articles. Okay. Uh, go to the news section of Google. There are Chrysler dealerships that are closing everywhere. Watch the television. There are mm -hmm. advertisements. Read the newspapers. Um, but yeah, it's a very good idea to approach some of those dealerships. Now remember though, if you're buying from that dealership, they are not going to be around when you need warranty service. You're going to have to find another dealership, and that dealership could be 60 miles from your home. So, you know, there's pros and cons to that. You will, might want to find a dealer a little closer to your work, a little closer to your office. They'll still be offering those liquidation sales, even if they're still remaining open. Plus, you now have the added benefit of knowing that you can go to them for warranty repair. Okay. And what if you're suffering from buyer's remorse? Uh, what type of re return policy rights do you have? There are none. none. Oh, wow. <laughs> we get that all the time. So as soon as you take that car off the lot and you sign your name on the dotted line, it's yours. You know, it's interesting. People seem to think there's a three-day rule. And, and last year on the show, we covered myths and misconceptions. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the three-day rule. There's a three-day rule if I come to Jamie Lynn Johan's house with a car and I knock on her door and say, would you like to buy a Mazda? And you buy it. It's a door-to-door -door sales law. If I'm selling you a vacuum or I'm selling you an encyclopedia set, you have three days. It's oh, wow. not applicable if you come down to Saks Mazda and you yourself has bought this off the lot. It's not applicable. Oh, wow. So, I mean, you really need to be, be sure before you take that car. And understand your financing, too. And don't sign blank contracts. You will be amazed at yeah. how many people are like, well, I'll take his word for it. It's going to say that, all right, I'll just sign here. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I tell these people, your signature is the most valuable yeah. asset yeah. you have. Yeah. That signature ties you into responsibilities. If you are not prepared to take the responsibility on and mm -hmm. it's not laid out clearly on the mm -hmm. paper, do not sign it. Make sure you go through the contracts. Don't just say, you know, the dealer will say, well, now this is this and this is this and this is yeah, this. Now initial, 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 sign, true. sign, sign. You know, there are dealers out there with the bells. They do the mm -hmm. bells. They're like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Jamie just brought a brand new car. Or, Would you like a hot dog? Would you like a soda? <laughs> You're there to make a significant <laughs> investment. Right. Don't trivialize it. Yeah. And they're doing this on purpose. Yeah. You know, well, everyone loves like, a hot dog, but. Yeah, you can make your mm -hmm. own, yeah. <laughs>